Katie Swafford with the MD News Network. We're here in the Windy City of Chicago at the AMA, CMA, BMA International Conference on Physician Health 2010, talking to doctors about physician health and resiliency in the 21st century. Here's what they had to say. It's critical. It's absolutely critical. I couldn't do my work if I didn't have balance in my life. It's um, very important. In fact, um, you know, I personally, you can now guess that I'm a little older than uh, when I started. And so I, I would have to say that in the beginning I was not very well balanced. In fact, uh, I would say personally that um, I was one of those really work hard types and um, my wife looked after the family. Well, it's really important to balance your personal and professional life because without balance, neither one is going to be particularly successful. End of story. Oh, it's, um, it's very important. If we have only time for working and we have not time enough for family, uh, some uh, something is wrong because uh, it, it, it we have to take into account the, the relevance of having a very good um, val value system. So if the if the work is the the main at the main level, and you put down the other things like family, uh, home, or your health, uh, something wrong will happen. So balance is is a um, is a, have a very very a tremendous importance. Oh, absolutely. So work-life balance, I think, is extremely important. Uh, I don't believe that physicians can be very effective and productive no matter what kind of positions they hold, whether they're seeing patients or administrative stressors without having a way to manage their stress and, and find that uh, life balance. And so many physicians uh, are, aren't able to, to really do, do, do that justice and, and um, uh, feel that they need to spend every minute on their commitments, their professional commitments, and it, it can really take its toll over time. Well, I think it's critical. I think this is an issue that everybody deals with, not just doctors, but uh, being a doctor lends some kind of special problems, special issues, and uh, it's nice to get together and have the benefit of people who've studied these things. We doctors, that's what we like to look at, studies. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think it's absolutely important because we have to think of this like a marathon. If we think of it as just a sprint, we're gonna run out of gas, poop out, and need resuscitation. So um, if you have the balance, then you can go as long as you want to go, and it'll be a choice when you do something different. Well, that's been the uh, focus of study and research um, in our practice, in, in our, our um, profession. My wife and I are in, in practice together in Winston-Salem, and um, our research in clinical work is helping to redefine work-life balance for physicians. What our uh, most recent research has shown is that far more important than the number of hours a physician works, it's his or her mood upon returning home from work that's the biggest predictor of family satisfaction with the physician's work-life balance. And the mood of physicians is primarily driven by how well they do or do not get along with the people they work with. So a crucial factor is not just, uh, it, the crucial factor is relationship, harmony, collaboration, collegiality in the workplace, and uh, protection of friendship and intimacy and in personal relationships. That's a real key to work-life balance for physicians. We did a, We completed a needs assessment about three years ago that showed that physicians and medical students wanted access to cutting-edge information about physician health and well-being. They wanted it for free, they wanted it to be done by experts, um, and they wanted it to be available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365. So we worked with the Ontario Ministry of uh, Health and Long-Term Care, the Canadian Medical Foundation, uh, the Canadian Medical Association, and the University of Ottawa, and built ephysicianhealth.com. En français, c'est uh, e-santé-des-médecins.com. And uh, we're very proud of that. It has 14 modules that cover different aspects of physician health. And it's truly the world's first free and anonymous resource of cutting-edge information in physician health. With very little promotion, we're now in over 80 countries with almost 100,000 users, uh, which is great. It's free. It's anonymous. Go check it out. ephysicianhealth.com, esantedemedicine.com. Now that you've heard the conference attendees' opinions, we want to know what you think. 
click on share your perspective at mdnews.com.